Hello everyone. Welcome to the fifth session of the question paper discussion on renewable energy sources. I'm going to discuss another question paper on the especially second module. So let me show you the particular question paper and uh, I'm going to point out the important questions on module two. So let me share the screen to everybody. So please pay the attention. So in this session, I'm going to discuss important questions from module two, uh, which is asked in the year of January, 2018. The first question is with a needs schematic diagram, explain the working of a Stirling engine. So that already I have covered in the previous session. Uh, you have to explain the components of uh, de-stirling engine system and uh, how the steam is generated uh, from the solar collector system and uh, how the closed loop control system operates and what are the major components which are involved in the parabolic de-stirling engine system. You have to elaborate with the help of diagram and a brief explanation. Fine. Now let's move on to question number 3b. Write a note on solar air heating. So let's understand what is solar air heating. So as you can see, uh, the main uh, purpose of solar air heating is it's a uh, no fuel cost. It's a non-polluting technology. Uh, so in, in this solar air heating, uh, we can say that it's one of the reliable methods okay, for uh, the room, particular heating of room, pro providing the certain temperature for commercial building as well as industrial buildings. And uh, the main principle of operation is convection. Okay, the heat transfer which is used in this type of technology is called a convection method. Uh, the major applications are agriculture application in milk products, product dairy farms, and the food processing units, etc. We can uh, mainly uh, focus on solar air heating system. Uh, so, give a brief introduction. Later, it is better to go for uh, the diagrammatic explanation. We require a fan, or you can call it as a blower. As you can see, the solar radiation which is coming from the sun, so heat, heat energy will be extracted with the help of a solar collector. Okay, uh, then uh, we'll be taking the uh, hot air from this particular surface. So there is a uh, glass surface which is having high refractive index to absorb the maximum amount of solar radiation and minimize the heat loss. Fine. In addition to that, there is a black surface uh, to improve the absorption capability. So this is one of the uh, typical block diagram of solar air heating system. So I request everybody to follow this particular diagram. If you can have any other diagram, that is also no issues. You can follow with that particular diagram, which is more uh, feasible for you. Let me move on to the third part. That is a question from uh, solar PV. Uh, discuss about efficiency of solar cell and fill factor. These are the two important parameters. So efficiency, you can calculate the formula. It is basically output to the input, right? So uh, what is output? Output will be electrical power. Input from the sunlight, am I right or not? So maximum output power divided by irradiance into area. This is the formula to calculate the efficiency. If you want, you can write in terms of uh, sentences also, you can write it, fine. So efficiency, you can write like this. Now let, uh, let me show you the how to express fill factor. Fill factor is another uh, parameters, okay? Uh, fill factor is nothing but okay. You can compute the fill factor. Uh, it is the it is you can calculate by using the formula maximum output power divided by open circuit voltage into short circuit current. That means VMT IMT. That is actually maximum power. Uh, VOC IOC means uh, a multiplication of open circuit voltage and short circuit current. Or else I can tell you one thing. Uh, this VMT and IMT I can replace by using the in terms of efficiency. That means efficiency into uh, the solar radiance into the surface area okay solar panel area solar cell area so you can write in this fashion also okay uh, this is actually called a uh, fill factor i hope you understood what is fill factor fine okay let me discuss the question number 4a discuss about different solar cell material so you can uh, monocrystalline polycrystalline amorphous i request you to re refer my previous video i have explained in detail it carries only five marks please elaborate only the detail you have to mention about the cost what kind of material you are employing all the type of materials are divided, uh, derived from silicon only like monocrystalline polycrystalline amorphous like that you can explain you have to compare with the cost and efficiency and availability as well List the applications of solar cell system. You have to elaborate the applications. I will show you what and other things you have to include. 
So as you can see, uh, these are the various applications, solar water pumps, solar vehicle, like electric vehicle, uh, solar laterns, then solar panel on spacecraft, spacecraft vehicle, and a grid connector system, cathodic protection, electric fence, remote lighting system, tele telecom, then water treatment system. These are the various applications. So what you can do is, you can elaborate in a brief with the help of a suitable block diagram, water pumping, uh, solar energy will be converted into electricity using the panel. Uh, panel will be supplied to the charge controller or converter and that is connected to the motor. So uh, we can uh, use uh, the motor system that can be coupled with the water pumping system. It may be reciprocating or centrifugal pump to lift the water from lower head to higher head. Explain in brief. Then solar vehicle you can explain. Electric vehicle, uh, what are the major components of electric vehicle. Uh, then solar laterns, especially for like uh, more rural villages, you can power using solar laterns where grid connection is uh, highly impossible. Uh, in spacecraft vehicle, the contribution of solar is highly uh, unavoidable. You might have heard about Chandrayaan-3, how, what are the major components which they used to for supply majorly, you can see that solar panel. Uh, similarly, grid connector system, uh, you are supplying, you are producing the power and that will be selling to the grid, that will be contributing to the grid. Okay, revenue can be generated. Using the net metering, you can able to measure, it is possible to measure the contribution. Similarly, cathodic protection, okay, like uh, in, you might have heard about one company called G Gas Authority of India, G G G G okay, Gas Authority India Limited. So they, they are actually adopting this kind of technology. Uh, then electric fences to protect uh, uh, the attack of animals to the crop to make, make your field safe. Uh, safety also to close the, to protect the animals while crossing railway. You can use this technology. Similarly, solar street lighting applications, Okay, telecommunicate, telecom power, that's also important. Uh, then uh, water treatment system, desalination plant. These are the various applications that you can easily uh, explain. Fine. It carries the weightage of only five marks, so brief explanation is more than sufficient. And then last question, let's see. Uh, with a neat schematic diagram, explain the working of solar water heating system. I think that we already covered solar water heating system. So uh, explain the components with a uh, brief uh, write-up. That is more than sufficient. So this is regarding uh, question number, uh, question paper, which has happened in the year of January 2018. Remaining part will be discussed in the forthcoming session. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.